Hello, YouTubers. It is now time for me to begin my birthday tribute to John Sebastian Waugh. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be doing my birthday tribute for John Sebastian Waugh. I apologize if, this, if I didn't mute this because I kind of decided to take that chance. And this is the first segment, like I said, of my birthday tribute to John Sebastian Waugh, five-time Canadian motocross champion. I'm going to be racing at Hello everyone. Anaheim. I'm Art Eckler along with David Bailey. And this is one of the most hotly anticipated Supercross events of Anaheim won. David, the depth of field here could be the best of all time. The best I've ever seen. You have to go all the way back to 1982 to find this much talent. Right, we're set at the gate. This should be very hotly contested. You know my lineup, so let's go. We've got the 30 second point. You gotta stay loose and focused right now. This is the moment of truth. And the gate is dropped. We are underway with the first heat. John Sebastian Waugh will get the whole shot here. Of course, one of my personal favorite memories of JSR was when he stole a semi win at Pontiac in 2000 over Larry Ward, who was at Factory Kawasaki at the time. There's a problem for Sebastian Tortelli. Five laps to go. Walt leading the pack. Walt is a guy who will make the main virtually all the time. He's a rider on the rock. And of course, oh, Michonne makes a gutsy pass on Morocco. Larry Ward makes the pass on Mike Morocco, moving into third place. Whoa, Morocco rockets past Ward. There's a big battle now for fifth place. Now, although JSR did not participate in the first Anaheim race, I just Linda decided to go with this. Sixth place. Just for fun. Ward gets by Bichon, moving into second place. Walt, our leader, coming around. Mikel Bichon makes a beautiful move on Larry Ward, moving into second place. Now, San JSR is a five-time Canadian motocross champion, which started in 2001. He won the title in 02 and 03. David, what exactly is the rhythm section? Well, our these sections vary all the time, but they're always a series of jumps, double jumps, and plateaus staggered to give the riders a couple of different strategies to get over. He won the title in 02, 03, Morocco, 04, and 05. Past Wyndham. And I believe, if memory serves, JSR Wyndham won Morocco, all those Paul's titles. Wyndham gets by easily. Three laps to go. John Sebastian Waugh is the current leader. John Sebastian Waugh is a newcomer who has dominated the Canadian race. We'll have to wait and see what the strengths and weaknesses are here in the 250 Supercross. Of course, I do have some of the Canadian Nationals from 2002 up on my channel. Back when it was sponsored by Extreme Sports Series. And I got to see it on speed in the latter portions of the year. Mike LaRocco is dropping back. And of course, John Sebastian Waugh oh. drops into sixth place. And of course, John Sebastian Waugh has made it out of a couple of heat races before. Murray Ward 
dropping back into third place. One in particular was the 2000 was the 2000 San Diego race where he qualified fourth out of the heat. Marco, just passing Wyndham. And in 2002 Wyndham at Indy, makes a move on Morocco and takes fourth place. Michonne is moving up through the field. Factories aren't big fans of the stunts. The riders are basically entertainers. Fans want to see a good show. Some riders are more conscious of that than others. Of course, JSR. And Ward are pointing it out. Number three, Mike Morocco, is making his move. I apologize, by the way. I think that was fair, he said. Morocco cuts to the inside on Kevin Windham. Gets by him. There's blind games going on. Looks like Morocco rents his face in his head. Could be the whole top floor the way this is going. So it's wire to wire for John Sebastian Hoff. So I easily win the heat race. John Sebastian Waugh wins the heat and transfers to the main. Looks like John Sebastian Waugh is on pace for a great main event tonight. Since they didn't say anything. Kishon comes through for second. Doug Henry will finish third, and Ward will get fourth. So we have our four qualifiers. Waugh, Pichon, Henry, and Ward. So Ferry, on the bubble in fifth, will have to go to the LCQ, along with Morocco, Wyndham, and Dowd. So Tortelli and Emig are going to have to go to the seats. So there's your results. If this were a main event, Tim Ferry would Tim Ferry would have a uh, eleven points, I believe. But that would have been a great performance for Ferry. Unfortunately it's not good enough for a transfer to the main. Let's get to the main right now. Looks like Wyndham made it out of the last chance. I'll say Deegan made it out of there. So it's Waugh, Henry, Ward, Wenzel, Pichon, Albertine, Huffman, Rayner, Smale, and Deegan. Let's go. The race is about to begin. The 30 second board is sideways. And the gate is dropped. We are underway with the main event. Waugh grabs the whole shot. Of course, JSR did win a last chance here in 2000. Last chance qualifier. At the first Anaheim in 2000. Gets by Wyndham, moving into third place. Our leader, Walt, around again, still looking relaxed and smooth. Whoa, Larry Ward 
makes a gutsy pass on Mikel Bichon. David, where does all the dirt for a track come from? Yeah, they store it outdoors locally and truck it in. So it's going to reflect whatever weather is I believe Wah won about two LCQs in 99. Well, you want to find the straightest line for your leg to bike work underneath you while your body stays still. Nine laps to go. John Sebastian Wah is the current leader. Back in the day, I used to like playing as the weird riders, like, or the privateers, like, JSR and Boss and, and uh, Snail. And even Pedro Gonzalez is also featured in this game. Doug Henry blasts by Wyndham, moving up into fifth place. Kevin Wyndham dropping back into sixth place. Laps to go. Walk, looking strong. Came in a Damon Huffman. Should also say that to Damon Huffman. Oh. Supercross, David. They might be saying, "What's with these stunts?" They might be saying that, Art, but they love it. It's something completely separate from the race. It puts everyone in a good mood. The riders, the spectators, because it's just so much fun. Sebastian Wah, still leading. Looking smooth. Usually you see the stunts on the last lap. Yeah, but sometimes if the rider has a huge lead, they'll start getting stylish and big jumps just to get the crowd in. And sometimes they'll do it just to relax. That's the way they ride during the week when the pressure is on. Of course, JSR never made the podium in an American Supercross race. He did win some semis and LCQs, did qualify out of the heat on occasion. David, what are these riders thinking when they plan their line through the rhythm section? Now, most riders can just look at these sections and figure out the fastest time to through. There's usually a faster way that not everyone has the confidence to attempt. The idea is to jump through with as fast a timing as possible, avoiding one jump to slow you down. Another lap for our leader, John Sebastian Wah, is starting to pull away. You can tell he's been working hard during the offseason. Yes, you can say that one of Wah's claims to fame in the States was when in 2000 at San Diego. The have very different attitudes about indoor and outdoor venues, don't they? Supercross is a tight sprint race. It also favors the riders who aren't afraid to jump in. Some guys just need more time and room. One of Waz's claims to fame was San Diego 2000. He qualified Get some going with his trademark. out of the heat race in fourth. John Sebastian Waz, still out front. Art, he looks fast. Waz qualified out of the heat race, finishing fourth after Tortelli went down. And then in the, off the start, looked like... JSR had the whole shot. David Bailey, the riders really get to show off some style up there. It's all fine until someone crashes, or almost crashes. JSR looked like he had the whole shot, slid out, and he ended up finishing 16th on the night. Doug Henry blows right past Michonne. For a time. What can the track builders do about wet soil? With wet dirt, you've got to mix in some lime to dry it out. It helps, but the riders know it's still going to get pretty rough. Our leader, John Sebastian Waugh, completes another lap. He looks solid. Of course, actually, also in the Nationals, John Sebastian Waugh had a career best fifth overall at uh, 
Unadilla when he went 5-10 on the day. And in fact, there was a time in the first moto where John Sebastian, where John Sebastian Wild ran as high as third and then finished in fifth to match his best moto finish of a fifth at the Bud's Creek race in the slot in the mud. JSR still our leader. There's a problem for the show. JSR also had a, a sixth overall at Binghamton back in 2002 also. Forget what forget what places he finished, but uh, all I know is that the 99 Unadilla National is probably JSR's best career best overall. He went 5'10". I believe it was for, actually not 5th overall, but about 6th or 7th overall. And there was also that one time where I was hoping JSR would make the podium. John Sebastian Wah, our leader, coming around. There was a time back when John Sebastian Wah was had the best privateer finish with a with a uh, with a uh, seventh place at the Charlotte Supercross back in 1998. Gives his fans quite a show. A stylish move like Rainey. But for a time also in 2000, up until uh, uh, Dallas came around, John Sebastian Waugh was also the only privateer to qualify for every main event. But the surprising thing was, Waugh was not the highest uh, money privateer winner. It was Looks boss. like he's going to make this his race from full shot to play. It was Boss who had the most money, even after missing, even after not qualifying for Phoenix. But I guess the whole thing was that Boss had some top 15 rides, and JSR was finishing between uh, 16th and 5th, between uh, 14th and uh, 20th. There's a spectacular move by Doug Henry. That's what he's known John Sebastian Hua. You just don't see the kind of racing we saw here tonight outside the world of Supercross. And I checked out from the field. Don't think I put second down a lap. And there, second place finally comes through almost a full minute. I lapped up to third with Raynard. So actually I did put second place a lap down. At least I think I did. But Henry came comes through for second. Raynard finishes third. Tell Pichon will finish in fourth. Larry Ward gets fifth. Top five has come through. We're still waiting on sixth. And 
finally six comes through, and that's Kevin Windham. Two minutes and almost two minutes and six seconds off. Albertine seven, Smale an eighth. Looks like Huffman and Deegan will be ninth and tenth. Damon Huffman finishes ninth, so Deegan will automatically get tenth place. There it is. There's the results. It is Wah, Henry, Rayner, the top three. Kishon and Ward rounding out the top five. Wyndham holding on for six. Albertine, Smale, Huffman, and Deegan is your top ten. And I'll see you guys for my next, for my last segment of my birthday tribute to John Sebastian Wah. So long, everyone.